Okay, so... Hey guys and girls, and welcome to my tutorial on coffee grinder. Or, actually, it's also called helicopter. And it's, it's called a lot of things, actually, but I guess I'll just call it the coffee grinder or helicopter. Whatever I call it in the video, I know I'm bound to mix those two up. But, uh, yeah, um, to learn this, uh, you don't necessarily need anything uh, to start learning it. It's so basic and uh, it's actually so different that you know you don't necessarily need anything before you learn it. I already said that twice just now, and uh, you could just see how repetitive I am today. Repetitive. Anyway, so um, yeah, uh, let's get started, I guess. So uh, let's see. How should I? How should I, I might as well just start by showing you guys what it looks like. So. Uh, it just, you know, it just looks like this. And, you know, it's your guys and girls' choice whether you guys and girls want to learn this or not. But, uh, so, it's, it's, a uh, it's like a two-step process, I guess, you know? Uh, you gotta learn, you gotta lean. And when, I'm just giving you the basic breakdown before you guys and girls start learning. So you know what to look for. Uh, so, and actually I should move this back. Just a little bit. Sorry if that was really, really loud. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And uh, here we go. Okay. So, uh, the first step is to determine which way you want to learn it. Um, again, I, I do my footwork both ways, so I'm just, I'm just going to pick doing it with my left leg on the floor and my right leg swinging um, because I find it uh, more uh, comfortable that way because I use my right leg to swing from my flare and my windmill. But uh, so, we're gonna start from this position, you know, uh, again, uh, when you do eventually learn the helicopter or the, or a uh, coffee grinder, you're not, you're probably not gonna be sitting on your butt. Uh, actually, I advise you guys and girls not to sit on your butt. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, um, so, one leg is going to be bent, and one leg is going to be out. The one that's swinging is going to be the one that's out, obviously. And the first, the first thing to do is just get the feeling of this, you know? You just want to lift up. With your, with, you know, if you're doing it the other way, if you're doing it this way, you're going to be lifting up. But I'm going to be teaching it this way for now, so, you know, you're going to lift up, you're going to lift up. And you're probably wondering, uh, Junie, you look really stupid. <laughs> And, uh, well, this is the first part, you know, you're just gonna lift up, and you get the feeling of the momentum of your, of you lifting up, you're eventually gonna, you know, start doing this. And I guarantee you, if, if you practice this, it's gonna come to you really easy, because as you swing out, you're gonna, you're gonna do that little, uh, hop, but you're also gonna lean on this arm, the arm that's out, so you're gonna go, Lean, you know. Um, so you're here. Lean, lean. You don't have to do it on your fingertips. I just do it because you know it looks cleaner because it's a better than uh, putting your palm flat. You can also do this or you can do fingertips. But you know, when you're first beginning, I advise you to do it flat-handed. I guess I don't know if I'm spreading a bad influence, but if you learn it flat-handed, you'll have an easier time learning it, and you won't be so uh, distracted by the pain that uh, the any footwork will give you because doing it this way or this way could really distract you uh, with pain when you're first learning and uh, if you just b-boy generally for a few weeks or months you know you'll eventually just be able to do this uh, I wouldn't say no problem but a lot better than if you just uh, went straight into it learning it like this anyway so that solves that problem or that question. So, you know, you're gonna be leaning, getting that foot off the floor with that momentum, and then you're gonna just this leg, leg that's out, it just it just swings in. You know, uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Like your heel doesn't have to be pushed out or anything. Um, but as you lean and get this leg off the floor, you're gonna learn to and just do that. Um, now, when, when you first start, you shouldn't be uh, leaning this way uh, without putting your hand on the floor because you, you need the help from your other hand so you're, uh, you don't get 
hurt because you want that extra support so when you go up you're gonna want to get back on your on this hand or else uh, it might end up really really uh, messing up and when you're and when you lean you're gonna lean swing grab and I kind of trip myself so I'll just do it again you're gonna lean swing support that's why I meant so lean lean swing support and you know that with, when you swing, you're obviously going to be already in the air with your uh, foot that's on the floor. So I hope that's making sense right now. So you're going to go lean, lean, swing, support. And then as, as, as this goes around, as this swing leg goes around, it's not going to stop. It's just going to go in a constant motion like this. So that's when, you, that's when uh, you start controlling your momentum and you start doing something like this. And you'll eventually get it after muscle memory kicks in. So again, you're gonna be you're gonna be around this area, and then you're gonna go ahead and lean, support, lean, support, lean. Ow! The balls on my feet and my shoe came off. So um, just goes to show how much of a noob I am. And uh, yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Other than uh, make sure to not sit on your heel because you know that that'll lead to pretty bad uh, posture and it, it won't look as clean as if because if I just sat on my heel the whole time it's actually actually uh, it's actually really hard to do on your heel I don't think I don't think you would naturally even go on your heel but just keep in mind to stay off your heel uh, to make the coffee grinder make it look a little better in my opinion you know you want to keep your posture up which I didn't do at all in this video because I'm getting actually kind of tired but yeah so you want to make sure when you lean support keep your chest up because if you just kept down here and, and you, you look at the floor it won't it won't look as a uh, uh, I, I don't know how to call it you know it's just if you're if you're like if you're up and you're looking at your opponent you know it, it just it gives you a better presentation you know it's just like I'm here to like own face so yeah uh so posture up lean swing that little hop thing <laughs> lean swing that little hop thing um stay off your heel i i'm pretty sure i covered everything i really hope this helped uh i know uh during the middle of this uh tutorial i got a little bit repetitive with the lean but uh, it's just for added emphasis and if you got this far in the video, I thank you so much. Um, uh, I know new people that might watch this tutorial might might like troll a little bit because I, I actually I agree, I agree, I agree. I got a little bit too repetitive with the leaning, but this is just my self analysis at the end of the video showing that I really do care and I do uh, make the video my videos at the best of my ability and my glasses are fogging up. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys and girls for watching my video on uh, Coffee Grinder. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed it. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, follow me on Tumblr, follow me on Twitter and Tumblr. Like me on Facebook, there you go. Because I'm a social networking whore. And yeah, so deuces! Ugh.